A cerebral aneurysm results from a pathological weakness in a vessel wall, causing dilation of the vessel structure. For a full analysis of the treated aneurysm, medical experts need an overall insight into all important data aspects. Therefore, it is essential to provide visualization techniques and tools that are capable of presenting all this important data in an integrated view. A major problem in this context is to combine visualization techniques that illustrate the inner wall, the border between the vessel wall and the lumen, and the outer wall, the border between the vessel wall and the surrounding tissue, to give users an impression of the wall thickness. Furthermore, the initiation and outcome of such a cerebrovascular disease is comprised of different factors such as hemodynamic information. Therefore, providing a visualization that is capable of presenting all of this important data is essential for supporting domain experts and for providing a tool for analyzing cerebrovascular disease. We thus began to define different requirements for visual exploration of wall thickness with internal blood flow. These requirements are based on discussion with domain experts and based on literature. Therefore, we state the following requirements. These requirements are essential for a full analysis and exploration of such a cerebrovascular disease. The outer vessel is visualized with a scalar field representing the thickness. The wall thickness can be analyzed by setting different parameters in order to discretize the thickness information. For analyzing wall thickness, Highlighting can be activated to emphasize regions that fall under a certain threshold. Further analysis can be done by using the slice view. The center line provides a natural choice for the slice view navigation. A plane is generated and maps the inner and outer border on the 2D view. The user can interact with the 2D scene and analyze the borders. The inner vessel wall is visualized by a contour margin. As an alternative, we employed hatch strokes to provide more contextual information of the inner structure. For the second requirement, we provide a visualization technique based on cutaway surfaces, such that occlusion problems with respect to internal blood flow are resolved. The user can activate the path line representation and the cutaway view. The animation stops during the interaction to provide a better investigation of the vessel. We use a different path line visualization technique whenever the path lines are occluded by the back faces of the interior vessel. This enhances the context visualization. A glyph-based transfer function allows us to identify near wall flow. Here, the near wall flow is represented as an arrow with a white and a black outline. The red and the blue color represented the flow is near the front face or the back face, respectively. This allows the medical expert to easily differentiate between near and far wall flow and to distinguish if the flow is close to the front face or the back face. To analyze the flow at interesting regions, for example thin regions, the expert can set the transparencies of these individual parts of the vessel. The analysis of the blood flow behavior is essential at thin regions. Therefore, the experts claim to analyze the flow at the thin regions first before they observe the path lines in general. Thus, the flow can be inspected at the region of interest only and therefore fulfills requirement 4. The play bar allows intuitive user interaction for exploring the simulation. To increase depth perception, we add an atmospheric attenuation to objects that are far away from the camera. The depth attenuation increases the depth perception, which therefore fulfills requirement 5. A 
A feature is included that allows placement of landmarks on the surface. After the placement, a screenshot is taken and all important parameter settings as well as the camera properties are stored. The current scene can be saved and loaded. Therefore, the save file can be easily exchanged for further collaboration with other medical experts. Another domain expert may see the landmarks and can select them. Clicking on it will load the scene.